Blizzard has blessed us with some pretty awesome cinematic trailers over the years and obviously Diablo 4 wasn't an exception. So naturally when seeing that one I was like oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. And that's what we're going to do today. Make the glaive of Venarius. But this doesn't really give me the Diablo vibe. Now that's much better. Let's begin. August 1st. I've learned of the whereabouts of one of the angelic diagrams. Hidden away in a cemetery just outside of Nevesk, it proved to be right where the old man described it. He gave me the information after I demolished his set of antique furniture. Apparently he's a heretic and fought me to be with the Church of the Light, when in reality I was just looking for a few coins and a speed boost. Nonetheless, I ventured to dig up the diagram. But unfortunately, I wasn't alone that night. August 3rd. All scripts point to the same conclusion. The scroll came from the heavens, but it's surrounded by an evil aura. I do not dare to open it. Scholars write of a way to securely access the knowledge hidden inside. Through the many contradictions, one phrase rings true. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan, plus four extra months for free. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Apparently, NordVPN encrypts your data and keeps you secure while browsing the internet, so the forces of evil cannot interfere when using public or unsecure Wi-Fi. Also, their new threat protection feature saves you from malware and other harmful sites. So if you want to be safe while accessing the web, grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash to get a huge discount and 4 extra months for free. Change your virtual location with the press of a button and relish in absolute privacy and protection. Let's give this a try. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan, plus four extra months for free. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. August 5th. Making the blade proved to be a difficult task. Due to the weight, I resorted to gripping the billet itself while forging. Against my disgust for sorcery, I had to cool it down using a water spell to make the work somewhat bearable. Still, progress was slow. One hour in, my better half brought me a potion of greater restoration and I pushed onward. Even though a tedious task, a big billet like this is no problem for a skilled smith. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those, so I had to resort to the angle grinder to finish the job. August 10th. The scroll depicts the weapon to be made of solid steel, which could not be wielded by a mere mortal. So I had to resort to making the shaft out of ash.
August 16. With the shaft done, I could continue working on the socket. The overall length of 8 feet demanded for a sturdy connection of blade and shaft. August 20th. It is time to engrave the blade pattern before moving on to heat treatment and finally breathing life into the blade. <laughs> and finally breathing life into the blade. August 26th. Only one part is missing. I felt strange for the past couple of days. Nightmares have haunted me and I fear to regret finishing this blade. Maybe I shouldn't have dug up this scroll. Maybe I should get rid of this thing before it's too late. 